Hello Barrys, welcome to another Evercore Heroes video. Today we're going to be looking at Sky, a mage damage dealer. Uh, Sky has kind of two stances and that is a water form and a lightning form and you can change in and out of those with D. At the moment in the closed beta, uh, one of the talents is um, when the enemies are in like a lightning rune, which is the lightning circle, they take 10% more damage, which is a nice little damage amp. Basically the damage uh, is kind of delayed, so after a few seconds the lightning will go off uh, and then do damage. So that's the lightning in lightning form, so the Q in lightning. Water form Q um, does a slow, whereas lightning damage uh, in water form has a higher chance to crit. So usually when you're doing the Q, Your um, when you're doing the Q, you're likely most likely to doing it in um, in lightning form because of the uh, extra crit chance. Uh, in water form, you got this little cloud on your E, and when you fire that out, it does constant damage and magic resistance shred. Uh, if you're doing it in water form. Uh, in, it's a magic resist shred in water form. In lightning, it's a stun, a little micro stun. The W is a bubble shield if you are in water form, and if you're in lightning form, it does uh, basically damage. Uh, we're going to be maxing our E first here because the magic resist shred is pretty nice in uh, killing, especially single targets. It's really, really good. You can see that cloud is just bouncing around applying magic resist shred. Which is pretty nice. And then you got the Q lightning, it's just gonna have a higher increased chance to crit. And then you got your W there too. So we're gonna do E in water form. Gonna reduce the magic resist of these enemies and then do our Q down. E water form again. Let me just res up this uh Sorry. So the thing is with the E, it always goes like a fair set of distance away from you. So ideally you want to try and like get the right distance away. So that it's placed, that the, the water cloud is placed directly on top of the, uh, the enemy. Water W is quite useful if you just want to shield up allies. I can show it off here, so that's the W. You can see how that kind of fires that little attack there, which uh, when it passes through, uh, shields allies. So generally you want to do your, uh, your water E first, reduce the magic resistance, and then you're putting your Q down. So then the magic resist is reduced on the enemies, and then so it means that that does a little bit more damage basically. And you're tapping your lightning W, generally lightning W whenever you're doing that, or if your team needs more shields, and you're doing that instead. Enemy team sent. So I'm going to use my lightning E here to try and... Uh, I think I actually sent a water E out there, but I want to try and use my lightning E here to stun this uh, elemental, so just sending my lightning there. There's little micro stuns. See if it helps out. Try and crowd control this guy a little bit. Oh, we got no one going back. I didn't realize. I'll try and sort that out. So I just use my recall power in order to go back. And answer this attack here on our base. I'm actually going to pick up a seed of uh, magic power here. Just so we can do a bit more damage. Don't think we ended up having enough damage on that life giver, did we, without me? That is fine. You do this loom gauntlet up here. Uh, not exactly the most fantastic route. There's like an XP horn to the south and some gold horns and things like that. 
could have maybe prioritized that a bit more rather than loom. Line prune, line, uh, loom prune, loom priority is not exactly bad, but it's not fantastic at the same time. Okay, next we're going to be talking about Sky's ulti. If you played League of Legends, it's quite similar to Nami ulti, but it does a really, really good pushback. It's like a, a Nami ult, like 2.0. We'll show that off soon. It's really good at like defending the core and just pushing mobs off and stuff. No. There's a bug at the moment where if you confuse the wall, you can just walk through it. Maybe this will keep you alive. Wearing them down. In the fire here is quite nice for Zari. This is a this water cue isn't as useful as the lightning one. But it does uh slow. Kinda did it again, I really should probably just use the lightning cue. It's not only does it more create chance for anyone that hits those mobs inside it, like Lightning Circle, I'm going to be doing 10% more damage. So you can see I can kind of like push out a cloud of my W in water form to shield allies, which can be pretty useful. Go pick that up, and then it is we need to kill the mobs on the circle event. From the storm. Go get him. What's meant to happen when you're in water form as well, you're meant to be able to like generate more mana regeneration. The sky basically has zero mana issues whatsoever. We don't have a fantastic way of pushing monsters into. We have CD and Q that can help push them in a little bit, like that. I could maybe use my ulti as well to push. I'm gonna push these guys with my ulti. Tried to at least anyway. I think we managed to get it. Uh, so we're going to go third on the event. Okay. Sorry, should probably do the solar lane on the on the left. The next surge wave is about um, goo will be nice to reduce magic resistance and stuff like the boss later on, and then this loom attuned epic item would be pretty nice as well in terms of. Getting more uh, single target damage on the boss. Just scout out this area a little bit while we're waiting for things to spawn. You want to try and make sure they die, or they get hit by the. Uh... So here you could use like your Q here, for example, to slow down the mobs to make it easier for you to. Uh... To hit them and stop them from getting into the core. Water W just to slow them down in there. Probably do a water W there just to shield us.
See how the lightning kill cloud kills the uh, smaller ones quite nicely. Just like a couple of ticks. Do another shield for Zari, but I missed. Try and push them away a bit here. Doing a stun there rather than magic resist W. Put a Q slow there just to try and stop them from coming in there. Doing okay. Doing another lightning stun there. Just to tr basically it's all about crowd control. And kiting now at this point. Take quite a bit of damage from lasers and things. They're going to get charged on here. Shield's going to be pretty valuable in terms of trying to... Whew. We did a good job. The shield's really, really nice on Sky in terms of like the surge event, especially when you're trying to like solo or in that situation with duo. So you're kind of like having... You're playing like a... A support damage dealer almost. So the Q water form isn't good damage. It's nice kiting uh, material basically. Same with like the the E as well on lightning form. It's really nice just to. Have crowd control if you don't need the damage, or if you're just trying to stay alive. So if you wanted a bit more utility, probably the W would overall be better for like the surge defense if you are struggling on that. Go towards this gold horn. Our team could probably use some cash. Nice. So here in this event, once it gets down to like about sixty percent on the timer, like you spent sixty percent. Um. I'm going to push them all to one side. I'm just trying to focus on some of the healers here. Yeah. Should give it a good cluster there. Let's finish any of the smaller ones that we can. I think we did okay. I definitely had more gold than 700 from a gold gold number, I think, as a as a pug group. I'm not playing with, I don't know, I've never played with any of these guys actually before. Not bad. You can see on that cloud is that there is a little zap radius around it. You don't have to get it pinpoint exact, but you do have to be like relatively close to the target location where you want to AoE. We're actually highest on levels at the moment, so we're doing pretty well. You can see that range is actually you know actually that range is slightly up more than I thought it was. It's pretty generous actually. Either that or just the hitboxes of the mobs are just a bit higher. But if you see anyone like going down low, if I take any damage myself, I can easily just, you know, shield myself with my water form W. Like here, for example, I can take more of a supportive role. Shielding the whole team while we try and get that res through. Just 
there's no shields out here. Don't think we played that horn particularly well, but It's okay. We've got another horn here. Wearing them down. Gotta try my best to avoid using those waterfall and cues though. Just because it is less damage. Oh. Two people went down. I just used my shield there, but I'm just gonna use my ulti to try and create some distance here. Just slow them from coming back in too quickly. Oof, lost our tank there too. That was kind of oof. It's quite an important horn, this one as well, the XP horn, and we're not. E 2000 XP is a little bit more than I thought it would be, but. Idea, you're looking like three or four k at second phase. Maybe we can send some monsters to the enemy team. Cause a little bit of a disruption. Heal over, uh, shield over to my support. He seems to be in a little bit of trouble. Nice confused there from the Becco. I'm kind of using all the wrong buttons here in the wrong forms, but we still sent a strong team over apparently. Uh, all of the other team are currently waiting on the stones, so they if they're not paying attention properly, they will have their core get hit here. I don't think any of them have recalled. We are going to be a little bit late to this shifting stones event, but it um, should be okay. Secret shops down there. Nothing too fantastic though from that objective. I think anyone in the other team's reacted yet to... Their base. Yeah, yellow's taking damage right now. It's getting ready for the next, um, The next glow. Go get him. Maybe this will keep you alive. They're weak from the storm. They're currently in third, but no. Maybe we're in second now. Second? Okay, we got seconds. Alright, good. We're in a really good strong spot in order to get to the head to head. Alright, there's a couple of items I want. So, uh, this is 300. Uh, goo is quite nice. It's got 175 base on. Unfortunately, there was no elites that had more magical power on. So we'll get this rampage. Uh, hmm. Will we get rampage? There's a magic resistant shred here as well. I'm just checking if we have it. Yeah, we do have it. So I'll just grab rampage. It's like the only other item there that really for me. Uh, whenever an enemy is defeated, I get um, 500 magical power, which for this you know defense is going to be pretty strong. So this little goo here is manual goo deployer. It's quite nice. It puts down this goo on the ground, slows down enemies and reduces magic resistance. And then my waterfall magic resistance also reduces spell resistance as well. So it's quite a nice combination. It makes it easier for me to have my Q land too, which is nice. Just 
slide them in there. Use the goo on the next one, I think. Let Zeri kill that and I'll try and... Send one of my E over just to help out a little bit. Yeah, we've got a lot of mobs here now. I think it's time for goo. Slow down the mobs there. It's gonna do a Q slow here. Doing some stuns here rather than magic resistance shreds. Doing more stuns here just to make sure that nothing is gonna be hitting at the core. Doing a slow. Got manual goo deploy here too. Another slow, I'm just gonna shield myself here. Gonna do stun. Team looks like it's starting to struggle. Yellow team's not doing a fantastic job either right now though. Just gonna ult that those elites away and just buy us a little bit of time here. Do manual goo deployer. Just don't try my best here just to do as much kind of crowd control as possible. I'm not looking to actually kind of kill these now. Although killing them would be awesome. Kind of by myself here. So I'm just trying to stun and slow. Uh, lightning E, water Q, just to CC as much as possible. We made it to the head to head, which is pretty cool. So at this point, currently water spell 12, uh, spell resistance from enemies uh, hit. We got the goo. Let's just try and do as much damage here as possible. So on this ice boss, we're going to want to clump up as much as possible. Just to make sure that the fist lands next to the boss so that we can cleave. Oh, someone, one of the teams went down. So you want to just keep doing water form E. It's gonna use my goo here. Should be in range. The uh, unfortunately the fist wasn't stacked up. You can see how Sky's E is just doing so much damage. Finish off these ads. The boss is taking damage even though um it's not up. I think it might be partially because of Sky as well. Yeah, my E is just doing actually an absurd amount of damage. You can see how much that's ticking per tick. It's actually super disgusting. I just shielded that. Uh... <laughs> yeah, something's up with Sky's damage here. It's going to do Lightning Q onto the boss just to amplify my damage even more. And now we're going to ult these mobs away from us. This boss is just getting absolutely melted right now. Yeah, Sky E is uh, doing an insane amount of damage there, an illegal amount. Um, but yeah. GG, well played, and that's Sky. Lots of utility if you need it. Lots of raw damage, especially on single target bosses like that. I'm pretty sure most of that damage was uh, coming from my E, so it's like 1.1k ticks every 0.5 seconds, going up to around about uh, 1.2k if I were to use my, my lightning rune on the ground as well to amplify it by 10%, and also Sidian, when he puts down his purple pole, that increases my damage on to the thing as well, so a lot of damage coming from Sky, so really, really, really good uh, here at the moment if that's something that you want to learn. It just takes a little bit of time maybe. I think to change stances and get used to when to being in what form, but um, really utility is really really nice in terms of that surge defense. As you can see, I was trying to kite out a lot of things there and stuff. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Lots of more Evercore videos on the channel. Uh, if the content creator code is working, Bizzleberry. Uh, if you can use that on the option setting, 
um, when you on the home page of the game on the little cog if you can use the content creator code bizzleberry uh, it means i get earn a little bit of revenue from any purchases that you make so this might be working in a week or two it's worth trying and see if it, if it works um, but yeah all the best and um, lots of evercore guides and uh, hero gameplay footage and stuff here on the channel so make sure you check them out also i stream at twitch.tv bizzleberry bye